In Tar Beach, Faith Ringgold recounts the dream adventures of eight-year-old Cassie Louise Lightfoot, who flies above her apartment building rooftop, the Tar Beach of the title looking down on 1939 Harlem in New York. The illustrations and stories are both by artist Faith Ringgold and show her use of color and fabric to tell a story. Today, you will create your own, own one-point perspective cityscape inspired by her. You will need white paper, pencil, watercolors, paintbrush, cup of water, markers, crayons, and print out the one-point perspective directions from Schoology. To begin, you need to find the center of your paper and create a dot in the middle. From there, I'm going to create the tops of my roofs. I'm following the lines of my paper. For example, horizontal lines match the sides, vertical lines match the sides as well. Don't overwhelm you with too many buildings. Next, using a straight edge or ruler, I'm going to line up the center of the paper with my tops of my roofs, but I'm only going to draw the line from the roof to the edge of the paper. See this again. Lining it up, find the top of the roof, edge of the paper. I'm going to do this to each one of the buildings. If you don't understand this step, it's also on your directions, and I suggest also rewinding this to see how I'm doing it. Just using my ruler as a guideline. If you don't have a ruler, you can use a straight edge of a box of, or something else at home. If you don't like the way some of your buildings look, erase them. That's the great thing about pencils. You can redo it if you need to. It's possible that your buildings may overlap as well, and that's okay, as cityscapes often show buildings overlapping. Oops, see, I make mistakes too. Now it looks like all the buildings are going into the center. This is creating the illusion of a one point perspective. I'm gonna create some additional lines to show the depth and to create more dimension. These lines help connect the building to make them look more three dimensional. Once you have that, you want to draw the details in your building. So think windows, whatever lines. I encourage you to look at some buildings and get inspired by their designs. I'm going to speed up this process but I'm gonna do it to each one of my buildings, trying to mix up my designs as I go. Not everything has to be rectangle windows. Some of it can just be lines connecting to each other. Once you have your windows, dis design your night sky. I'm using crayons to fill it in. Then I'm gonna use my crayons to outline my buildings and draw some details. If you don't wanna paint, you can do colored pencils and markers instead. I like to add watercolor, so I'm just gonna use crayons a little bit and save the rest for painting. But use whatever medium you like. This is a great one for colored pencils as you can work more detailed. Notice how my buildings are not all gray. I decided to work in a cool color palette to create that moody city. With my watercolors, I'll paint the skyline. Then using a light black, I'll fill in the rest of my buildings. You can do any colors you want. I just like the contrast of the black with the colorful sky. Once it's dry, I can use markers and add some details and outline things as I need to. Again, totally up to you. Use colored pencils if you want. And there it is. Sign your name at the bottom.